Hi, it's Katrina. From recording mysterious sounds to finding new underwater species, here are eight amazing discoveries made by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Number 8. The Stern of a World War II Destroyer Around 1.50 a.m. on August 18, 1943, a World War II destroyer called the USS Abner Reed was rocked by a huge explosion while conducting anti-submarine patrol in the waters off Alaska. Over 90 soldiers fell into the water as the stern was separated from the rest of the ship. 20 men survived, the remains of one was retrieved from the Bering Sea, and the remaining 70 were never found. After the explosion, which was thought to have been caused by a Japanese mine, the crew managed to keep the hull of the USS Abner Reed water tight, and it was towed back to port by two nearby Navy ships. The ship may have been saved, but its stern, along with the 70 missing men, met a watery grave near the Aleutian island of Kiska. For the next 75 years, the stern rested on the sea floor. On July 17th of last year, a team funded by the NOAA called Project Recover discovered the remains of the USS Abner Reed in the waters off of Kiska. The team, which included scientists from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California, San Diego, and the University of Delaware, identified a potential site using sonar and sent an unmanned vehicle into the water to take a closer look. And there it was. The 75-foot-long, 18-foot-high, sea life-encrusted stern was found in 290 feet of water. The Sunken Military Craft Act of 2004 protects wrecks like Abner Reed and their contents from being disturbed, damaged, or removed. Although the Act provides for exceptions on the basis of historical, educational, or archaeological value, the USS Abner Reed will remain at its resting place. For one, the wreck is a potentially life-threatening safety hazard to divers due to its twisted metal and sharp edges. More importantly, however, the site represents a war grave for those who perished at sea. The U.S. Navy believes in leaving this final resting place undisturbed. Number 7. New Species In early 2017, a team of biologists boarded the NOAA ship Okeanos Explorer and set out for the American Samoan region of the Pacific. Once they arrived, the scientists studied the area's three marine sanctuaries and discovered a fascinating array of never-before-seen creatures. In an interview with Gizmodo, Lehigh University molecular ecologist and NOAA team member Santiago Herrera admitted that the deep-sea habitats and geology in and around protected marine sanctuaries remains largely unknown to scientists. The team conducted a series of dives while accompanied by a remotely operated vehicle and discovered at least a dozen potential new species. According to Herrera, these previously unknown creatures included sea stars, sponges, corals, and mollusks, just to name a few. Scientists aboard the NOAA research ship that sent down the ROV as far down as 3,600 feet have also discovered several new species of jellyfish, including one that looks like a UFO. It has two sets of tentacles, one set facing upward and the other downward, but it's hard to say why that is just yet. Another discovery was that of the psychedelic medusa. This jellyfish hovers just above the sea floor, while its tentacles reach out all around, ready to sting its prey. Other remarkable finds are a venomous sea anemone with a distinct pink hue, nicknamed the Venus flytrap, and an armored sea robin that can move across the ocean floor by using its modified fins as legs. They are hoping to increase public interest and support to continue to explore these unknown parts of the ocean. Number 6. A Deep Sea Coral Reef News about coral reefs seems to have become increasingly negative in recent years, with reports of coral reefs dying rapidly and being damaged and destroyed by things like harmful sunscreens and rising ocean temperatures, etc. Unexpectedly good news came in August of last year, however, when the NOAA announced the discovery of a deep-sea coral reef 160 miles off the shore of Charleston, South Carolina. The 85-mile-long reef, which is roughly the same length as Delaware, contains mounds of coral up to 300 feet high. Some sections of the reef may be thousands or even hundreds of thousands of years old. One NOAA mission report detailed how a team of divers spent nearly eight hours observing continuous live reef or coral rubble from a submersible. A half mile beneath the water's surface, the reef flourishes in complete darkness and at a constant temperature of 9 degrees. The reef mainly consists of a cold water coral called Lophelia. It grows continuously for thousands of years, and the skeletal remains of the previous generation are covered with layers of new growth. 
This important discovery taught scientists that coral grows deeper and farther from the shore than they ever knew or would have imagined. Coral reefs are extremely beneficial to the marine environment, helping to balance the deep sea ecosystem and serving as a home for countless species of sea creatures. Despite their finds, scientists are left with one question. Is it possible that the recently discovered reef is part of a bigger reef along the East Coast? In an interview with the Washington Post, deep sea ecologist Eric Kordes, who is also the chief scientist of Deep Search, the project that discovered the reef, predicted that the recently identified deep sea coral reef will lead to more findings in the following months and years. Number 5. Sunken German U-Boats Laying in about 700 feet of water 35 miles off the coast of Okra Coke, North Carolina, there is a sunken German U-boat that's been there since 1942. Inside are the remains of 44 soldiers, along with their commander. Thanks to a recent NOAA laser survey, a high-resolution fluorescent blue and green image of the wrecked boat has become available. In an interview with the Washington Post, senior NOAA archaeologist Joe Hoyt, who helped direct the project, described the image as stunning and the clearest picture I've seen of any U-boat on the seabed. Thanks to the advanced laser scan, researchers have confirmed things about the wreck that they were previously unsure or unaware of, including the mysteriously intact condition of the boat. The boat shows no signs of damage caused by uncontrolled sinking to the bottom of the water, and it seems to have no battle damage. This lack of damage suggests that the boat may have been unable to resurface after being intentionally sunk to the ocean floor, or it may have gotten stuck down there as the result of a mechanical problem. The boat will likely remain where it is, at least for now. Although it is the rightful property of the German government, the U.S. has kindly agreed to care for it. Number 4. A Pocket Shark During a 2010 study of the feeding habits of sperm whales, researchers aboard the NOAA ship Pisces inadvertently caught a pocket shark. This incredibly rare shark was first noticed a half hour after the catch. When it was determined that the 5-inch long male specimen was dead, he was then frozen. It was the second ever sighting of the tiny pocket shark. The first sighting of a 15 inch long female occurred in 1984 in Peru. Given the limited opportunities scientists have had to study pocket sharks, very little is known about them. They're distinctive from other sharks, not only because of their small size, but because of two large pockets that sit next to the front fins. Cute, right? And convenient. Most scientists will never have the opportunity to study a pocket shark firsthand since they're so rarely caught, making this one of the NOAA's most amazing finds. Number 3. A Killer Whale Nursing Her Calf In October 2015, a stunning image of a killer whale nursing her calf was released by the NOAA. The image was so remarkable, in fact, the agency's experts referred to it as the most detailed photo ever taken of a wild killer whale feeding their young. This photo was taken in the San Juan Islands, which are located north of Seattle, by an unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV. Although photographs of this nature had previously been taken in captivity, the quality and detail of this image represents a first for such pictures taken in the wild. Advances in technology played a role in the NOAA's newfound ability to capture such a high-quality image. Previously, attempts to capture similar photographs were made from helicopters, which hovered far too high above the water for a detailed photo to be taken. The UAV, on the other hand, can come as close as 90 feet above the animals. The mother and calf in the photo are two members of a highly endangered local community of just 81 whales. Already rare moments like the one captured in this beautiful picture stand to become even more difficult to witness, as threatened populations struggle to survive. Scientists keep a close eye on whales like this mother and baby, and at the time the photo was taken, they performed periodic checkups to ensure both were getting adequate nutrition. Number 2. Noise at the Bottom of the Ocean In 2015, NOAA scientists lowered a titanium-encased hydrophone into the deepest part of the ocean, known as the Challenger Deep. The Challenger Deep is located near Micronesia in the Mariana Trench, and is roughly 7 miles beneath the ocean's surface. Three weeks later, the hydrophone was brought back to the surface and the recordings were listened to by researchers from NOAA, Oregon State University, and the U.S. Coast Guard. They were caught off guard by what they heard. Instead of a long, boring audio recording of silence, which one might expect at the deep, dark bottom of the ocean, they heard a variety of natural and man-made noises. Included among the sounds captured in the recording were moaning baleen whales, earthquakes, and a Category 4 typhoon passing by overhead. The hydrophone also picked up noises made by ship propellers. 
One of the purposes of researching noise within the ocean is to figure out if and how man-made sounds affect the navigation and communication of marine mammals that rely on sound and echolocation, such as dolphins, whales, and even some fish. The data that was recorded by the hydrophone offered scientists a starting point for further research, including another trip to the Challenger Deep. Number 1. A Missing Tugboat Thanks to the NOAA, one of the biggest maritime mysteries in American history was solved in recent years. On March 25, 1921, the USS Conestoga departed from California's Golden Gate Strait. The vessel was bound for American Samoa, with a planned stop in Pearl Harbor along the way. But the USS Conestoga never arrived in Hawaii. An exhaustive months-long sea and air search proved fruitless and was called off on June 30th. The World War I-era Navy tugboat and its 56 crew members had vanished, and the disappearance remained a mystery for nearly a century. Its discovery was announced by the NOAA almost 95 years later to the date on March 23, 2016. The wreck had first been discovered in a marine sanctuary 20 miles west of San Francisco in 2009 during an NOAA hydrographic survey. In 2014, an investigation confirmed that the wreck was indeed the USS Conestoga. An investigation by NOAA and the Navy concluded that the tugboat most likely went down in a storm while en route from California to Hawaii. In an act of desperation, the crew probably tried steering the boat into a protected cove on southeast Farallon Island as it filled with water, but the USS Conestoga never made it to safety. Now that it's been found, families that went generations without knowing what happened to their lost relatives were able to gain long-awaited closure. Thanks for watching! Keep an eye out for new discoveries by the NOAA. You never know what new creatures they might discover in the sea. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!